The little library has been a tradition for, I suppose, some years. I built my first one maybe three or four years ago. Bev Noya is handy, always has been. She's made about a dozen of these by now. I do it all out of scrap wood. So I drive the alleys and find stuff or people bring things by, wood, glass, plexiglass, whatever. One man's trash is Bev's treasure. At 75 years old, she knows the value in being resourceful. So it's all pretty strange looking. I call it rustic because that sounds better. But uh... <laughs> when times got harder this year, Bev wanted to help. And then uh, when COVID came along, I had the realization that, gosh, I bet people are more interested in food than books right now. So she moved some books over, made room in her little library for a few items from her pantry. So I put it out and it disappeared. So I went through and got a little more and put some more and it kept going. The more she put, the more she helped. The giver she is, Bev started running out of food. So she called him back up. I can't think the last time I've been in a grocery store. So I put it on next door. And by golly, they started. Without them, it would have dried up after probably three days. I just didn't have that much. But with them, this is, what is it now, six weeks? But with them, her friends, her neighbors, complete strangers, Bev's little pantry is always stocked and ready to help. And help it most certainly has. People walking by stop at the pantry and take a can of food and say, thank you for this. And I say, hey, thank the neighbors. I couldn't do it alone. Bev knows the value in being resourceful, so she knew she could use what she had to help. What she didn't know was how her little pantry would bring a whole community together. I kind of assume that if I ever am in need, somebody's going to help me. When the world has those assumptions, it works. With photojournalist Corky Scholl, I'm Lori Lizarraga for Nine News. You're welcome. <laughs>